Hey golf fans, welcome to another episode of Up and Down, where we take a look at what's trending up and what's trending down in the game of golf. Today's episode is sponsored by Innisbrook Resort, home to four championship golf courses, including the famed Copperhead Course. Host of the PJ Tours Valspar Championship and featuring one of the most famous finishing stretches in all of golf, during your time at Innisbrook, you'll enjoy their spacious accommodations, full breakfast and lunch daily, and unlimited access to their state-of-the-art practice facilities. Find out for yourself why Copperhead is a favorite amongst the finest golf professionals. Book your package today at InnisbrookGolfResort.com. We start things off this week with what's trending up, and that's the buzz around major championship season. As the men and women of the college hoops world close in on crowning their national champions, the men and women of the golf world are just getting ramped up. The LPJ Tour hosts its a a Inspiration this week, the first major of their season. Fast forward to next week and the PJ Tour's best head down Magnolia Lane for the second edition of the Masters in the past six months. If you're looking to get your Augusta fix before then, the Augusta National Women's Amateur returns this week for the first time since 2019. Also returning to the Masters itinerary, the finals of the National Drive Chip and Putt Contest. Then of course, this time next week, it's time to clear the calendars, fire up the pimento cheese sandwiches, and enjoy the Masters in April for the first time since Tiger's historic win two years ago. Also trending up, the age-old rest or rust debate. Dustin Johnson opting for the former, announcing his withdrawal from this week's Valero Texas Open in order to prepare at home for his title defense at the Masters. This, of course, comes on top of the rest he already got after being bounced from the WGC match play event early. And I seriously doubt he'll be scheduling any practice rounds with Kevin Na anytime soon, but so long as he doesn't go picking up those six inch tap ins too quickly, he'll be one of the heavy favorites next week at Augusta. Trending down. As DJ opts out of the Texas Open, Ricky Fowler is not afforded that same luxury. He's out of time and will need nothing short of a victory to qualify for the Masters next week. The odds are stacked significantly against him. He's more than 430 days removed from his last top 10 finish on tour, and odds makers have him listed at 66 to 1 to win the tournament. These past few weeks have shown us anything, it's all about finding your form at the perfect time. Just ask the Oregon State Beavers who converted a five seed in the Pac-12 tournament into an Elite Eight run. Fowler will need to channel some of that same energy to make a dramatic last second appearance in his 42nd consecutive major championship. That's all for this week's episode of Up and Down. For all things leading into Masters Week, you can always head over to MorningRead.com for more. And remember, it's not about whether you hit the perfect approach, it's about whether you get up and down from there.